What is up guys, welcome back to the Anna JC channel and today we're watching the top 10 British albums that changed music forever. Quick, name a British band. The Beatles. Name another one. That's all I have. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot of good ones there's though. There's one that's like, in my head and I can't pull it out. Def Leppard. <laughs> that's what it was! <laughs> Wow, you messed my hair all the way up. I don't even think Def Leppard's a... Led Zeppelin is what I was thinking of. Uh, there's been a lot of good British bands, and these are the top 10 albums that changed music forever. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, drop a like for more reactions like this, but other than that, let's get into it. I was going to say Adele, but that's she's not a band. She's her own person. Yeah, but it's Adele. It's Adele. It's Adele. <laughs> These records redefined popular music. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 British albums that changed music forever. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're ranking the greatest game changing records ever to have come out of Great Britain. Number 10 definitely may be Oasis. Before uh, becoming Oasis, a worldwide yeah. phenomenon and the figureheads of Britpop, Manchester's Oasis had to break into the mainstream. Liam and Noel Gallagher arrived with Definitely Maybe, their first studio album, and a record widely considered as one of the best of the 90s. The ballsy debut blends Beatle-esque influences with a raw energy which quickly became an Oasis trademark. They're pretty big in America too. Mm -hmm. Oasis, like I know a lot of people that listen to them. Selling faster than any debut album before number 9, A Night at the Opera. Queen. Uh, Queen. How are we, we going to forget about Queen? <laughs> Queen? Having tasted some success with previous albums, here's where Queen came of age, bringing all of their influences together for their now unmistakable sound. Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. This song has literally had a chokehold on the like the entire human race for just ever. <laughs> like, I, 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 pro it. I probably hear that song three times a day, and I don't even listen to it. Like it just pops up right everywhere. Now. Like it's crazy. Led by Freddie Mercury's unique vocals, the band blends hard and prog rock with radio-friendly pop for an album which develops into an extravagant and operatic rock masterpiece. While every element is meticulously fine-tuned, Bohemian Rhapsody is an undisputed highlight and still one of the greatest stadium anthems ever written. Number 8, The Queen is Dead, to. The oh. Smiths. He may be one of music's most controversial figures, but alonside Johnny Marr, Morrissey was an all-out icon. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of The Smiths. I, I don't think I have either. No, I, I feel like I've heard of that album. But not of the Smiths. That didn't age well, did it? No, not at all. Mm -mm. Rip Lizzie. Mm -hmm. One of the most influential acts of the 80s. The Smiths paved the way for alternative music trends, and The Queen is Dead became a blueprint for Indian. That's my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never heard them. Boasting a track list stacked with celebrated songs, from Cemetery Gates to There Is A Light That Never Goes Out, this was an album quite unlike anything that came before. Number 7, Let It Bleed, ah, the, the Rolling, Rolling Stones. Stones. There have been few more influential bands in the history of rock music, and Let It Bleed was the Rolling Stones at the absolute apex of their career. Yeah, the, the Rolling Stones definitely wasn't just UK. <laughs> the oh, Rolling yeah. Stones had the entire world in their hand at one point. <laughs> Containing some of the Stones' greatest songs, it stands as a tour de force of blues and rock. From the timeless Gimme Shelter to the anthemic You Can't Always Get What You Want, 
It's packed with euphoric instrumentals alongside Mick Jagger's signature snarl. Plus, it's the Final Stones album to feature founding member Brian Jones. Number six, never mind the bollocks, here's the Sex Pistols. Sex I've Pistols. They're punk pioneers and this is their seminal album. The Sex Pistols barged into public consciousness with Never Mind the Bollocks, inciting controversy even before a single song was played. The album cover and title triggered a censorship row at the time of release, while the huh. record's raw and unrefined style proved the epitome of punk. Hey, With other sometimes controversy is the best marketing. Sometimes controversy will yep. take your career from here to way up there. Like, it's like getting canceled today. If you get canceled on the internet, like a big like creator or whatever gets canceled, most of the time they're gonna end up ten times bigger than they were. Yeah. Like it, sometimes literally doing something bad or having people like not like you bad is is going to like boost it even more. Yep. Punk outfits pitching punchy but more complex songs. The Pistols went for all out anarchy. <laughs> It's not necessarily the best punk album out there, but never mind the bollocks was a gut busting game changer. Number 5 Paranoid Black Sabbath. Ah. When four lads from Birmingham started a rock band in the late 60s, few could have predicted the impact that they'd have. This is my favorite long ass song. My favorite <laughs> like, song. like 12 minutes long. <laughs> But Black Sabbath became one of the most important groups in heavy metal history, revolutionizing hard rock and becoming the true pioneers of their genre. Thanks. We might easily have included their self-titled debut record on today's list, but Sabbath's follow-up Paranoid is arguably one of the greatest achievements in popular music, period. In just guitar Hero. Tracks. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was just thinking. That's what I think of as Guitar Hero. Brand new standard, becoming the first port of call for heavy metal fans. Number four, Led Zeppelin four. Led Zeppelin. Any number of Led Zepp records might have featured today, with the nice. iconic outfit responsible for a hugely influential body of work. <laughs> But Zeppelin's fourth album came at the height of their powers, becoming one of the best-selling records of all time. And for good reason. Striking a perfect balance between hard, edgy rock and more melodic tunes from Black Dog How the hell you even play that? I have no idea. <laughs> the double guitar? I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> the levee breaks, there's not one track that's out of step. And of course, Stairway to Heaven still stands as one of the best ever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you play it like that. Number three, The Dark Side of the Moon. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. AKA it's every t-shirt, like... That you see. The, the goth girl in high school wears. Yes, <laughs> like, yes. Everybody has that t-shirt. Standout effort from one of Britain's best, The Dark Side of the Moon is not only Pink Floyd's most successful album, but one of the best-selling records of all time. And that's, like I said, that's easily one of the most iconic album covers ever. Like, if you show that to somebody that, like, at least semi-knows music... Yeah, they they're gonna know that's Pink Floyd. Like, they could never have listened to a single song on this album, but, but they'll look at that and be like, that's yeah, that's the Pink Floyd album cover. Yeah. Placing in US charts for 741 consecutive weeks until 1988. Excuse me? It's not so much remembered for a series of stonking singles, but rather as a collective, pristine example of how an album should sound. With a lasting influence on Floyd's live shows as well, it's required listening for rock music fans. But that's how you know it's a good album though, when it's like, it's not just like four songs on the album that are like super good. When you have to listen to the entire album, to really understand it, like that's how you know it's really good music. Mm -hmm. 
Number two, the rise and fall of Ziggy ah, Stardust and the spiders <laughs> from Mars. David Bowie. I'll be honest, I don't As think I've ever listened to a single David Bowie song in my life. I don't think I I might have and just didn't know that that's who it was. Yeah. But I do recognize the name. Yeah, I know the name, but I don't, I don't think I've ever listened to him. Probably Bowie's best known album, Ziggy Stardust came after a series of successful records, including a self titled second album. I forgot that's what he looked like. But here's where Bowie truly establishes himself as a glam rock revolutionary and a cultural icon by developing his stardust alter ego to reflect his own career and personality. Including classics like Starman and Rock and Roll Suicide, not only did this album significantly shake things up when it was released, but these songs are still sung today. Okay, I, like, I know that song. Before we reveal our top pick, here's a few honorable mentions. Radiohead! Like, is that the original song? Is that who originally so. sang it? Because, like, there's like 7,000 different remixes of Five that one song. <laughs> one. Number one, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Ah, I love this the one. Beatles. Often cited as the most influential British band ever, Iconic. this is the Beatles at their boldest. Not just the most influential British band, but the most influential band ever. Like, Iconic, yeah. it's the damn Beatles. Like, <laughs> out of bed. To come across my head. With an instantly recognizable cover, Sgt. Pepper's reshaped the rock music landscape, serving as a primary inspiration for most of the records featured on this very list. Like, we were talking about the Pink Floyd album cover being the most, like, iconic. Low-key, the Beatles walking across oh, the street. That's, yeah. that's gotta be the one. Everybody knows that one. Somebody called you, you answered quite slow. John, Paul, George, and Ringo take us on a psychedelic counterculture voyage built on all they had achieved before, but determined to push the boundaries further still. From open to close, it redefined the look, feel, and sound of pop music, and still stands as the Fab Four's finest hour. No, Do but you for agree real, with that? Yeah. knew more than I thought I would. Well, British bands are just like, it's insane. Like, some of the biggest bands and artists and songs have all came from the UK. It's crazy. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's reaction. If y'all want to see more videos like this, let us know by hitting that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. an honorable mention, the Spice Girls. Are they British? Yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't know. Yeah. I got an honorable mention. Any Iron Maiden. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'm surprised they didn't make this list. I know, me too. There's our, there's our honorable mentions we wanted to add. Peace. <laughs>